Hello everyone, in this video we will reset mapping an array by using for loop and for the exercise you can think that this is a smart contract for, humanita for a humanitarian NGO and this NGO each month is collecting money to help people affected by natural disasters so it, it means that for each month people can donate money at the, and at the end of each month the NGO can withdraw money that is collected for that month and it means that at the end of each month the mapping and the address will have to be reset. So and the first function is, I mean, we will let people to deposit, I mean, to donate money to the contract. So uh, I will say donors mapping first, and then message sender, and what will we will make it equal to message value, and that's it. And then we will save those people inside an array, donors array dot push and we will push message sender and that's it and later at the end of the month the NGO would, uh, can can withdraw all the money inside the contract so to do that they will use a call method so to use call method we will be using success and no need for the second parameter and here we will say message dot sender I mean like whoever is gonna call this function they should be able to withdraw all the money inside the contract and we will use call and here we will pass uh, for the value we will pass address this balance all the money inside this contract and then we will just leave it empty now and here we will use require you can say success is equal to true if not you can say transaction failed so that's the first part of the withdraw code and now we have to reset first mapping so to reset the mapping we will create a for loop so for doing e is equal to zero e is smaller than donor salary dot length e plus plus and here to reset it we need to grab uh, the donors array element one by one and pass it inside donors mapping and to do that we will first say donors mapping open square brackets and here inside again we will say donors array and then we will say e and we will reset that value to zero and that's it and once we are finished with the donors mapping then we can reset the donors array and, uh, and actually it's easier than mapping so we just need to say delete donors array and delete donors array will force this donors array to return to its de default value and the default value for a don for an array is uh, is an empty array and that's it actually and of course I will add some extra view functions you don't need to add those but they will help us to see if everything goes fine and a donor mapping okay I think everything should be fine yeah now I can deploy it's already compiled so we can donate something so from this account let's donate one ether to this contract and then maybe the other account can donate three ethers to the contract that's enough and now if I check the length of the donors array and if I check the balance you see it's 4000 it's in way but it means it's four eaters inside the contract so if I withdraw everything and now if I check the balance it should be zero and now if I check the length of the array it should be zero so that's how you reset a mapping and an array and see you next time bye bye